everyone, it's me, John Lorden. Welcome to another edition of Johnny Vlogs. And I know everyone is getting in the Halloween spirit this time of year. Um, we're only a week away from the big day. So I thought, why not tell you guys a little spooky story today on Johnny Vlogs? So that's what we're gonna do. But this story is actually real. So imagine this. You're a man named Ken Qual, sleeping on Saturday, October 8th, and about five o'clock in the morning, something breaks your window and a bullet nearly misses your head, ricochets off the wall above you and hits another neighboring wall. I think that would freak me out, but this is not the story of Ken. This is the story of a real life zombie hunter. At least that's what the kid Ryan said when police found him with a Bushmaster AR-15 strapped around his shoulder and a type of ammo called a Z-Max bullet, which is um, marketed for taking care of zombies. Yeah, so uh, what did Ryan say to the cops when they found him? Uh, Ryan Stanislaw is his last name in case you do want to find zombie hunting services here in the St. Paul area of Minnesota. Um, when police found him, he said, I'm out here making sure my neighborhood is safe. I didn't see the cops, so I figured I'd better do something. He says he took a shot at a zombie. Um, apparently he missed because the cops did not find any zombie, uh, but they did see the shot that went through a bedroom window, waking up poor Ken at five o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Um, police say they gained control of the rifle and then visited the home Stanislaw shares with his mother and stepfather where he admittedly, uh, allegedly admitted to officers that he shot one round from the property's driveway and from that vantage point you could see right across to Ken's house. So they figured that is the one round that was shot. Um, yeah, apparently Ryan was also a little intoxicated when he was found. Um, I don't know, you know, I kind of have a weird feeling about these bullets that are marketed in this way. <laughs> Just because if someone gets drunk enough and they see a box of zombie bullets, um, you know, maybe that would influence them enough to say, hey, you know what, these, these things are real. There must be some zombies around here. Let's go find some zombies. <laughs> and apparently that's what this guy did. Now, um, he's got some big charges coming his way because apparently he was not supposed to have a weapon uh, because of a previous charge he had against him. And uh, we can learn a little bit about that from my newspaper here too. Let's see. Uh, he was charged with possession of a firearm while it is prohibited for him to do so. Um, the criminal complaint for his previous conviction states that a taxi picked up Stanislaw on April 13th, but before reaching his home, Stanislaw had the driver pull over and he tried to pay his fare with a bank card. When the driver was una unable to print him a receipt, he punched the driver in the back of the head. He probably thought he was a zombie taxi driver. Uh, the driver got out of the car and Stanislaw eventually also got out of the car. He reportedly began waving a knife around, uh, lunged at the driver and kicked him in the shin. The driver who feared for his life ran away. Stanislaw slashed two of the cab's tires before he left because if it is a zombie cab driver, you don't want him following you home. Yes, so here in St. Paul, Minnesota, we have officially a real zombie hunter. Just seems like he's probably not real good at doing his job, but at least he's got the right tools for the job. He's got his Z-Max zombie uh, bullets, just in case they say right on them. <laughs> I do have to note, the, the box also says on them that zombies are not real. I think they say according to the, to the CDC, the Center of Disease Control. Um, but man, it blew my mind to see that. This is a real news story. I'll have a couple of links for you in the description box below so you can see it for yourself. Um, I did see the coverage kind of varies on it. Uh, Huffington Post has an article on it, but they don't really talk about his previous charge very accurately. 
Um, unfortunately, that's in a local newspaper, so I don't know if you guys will be able to quite find that info, but there are a lot of articles out there about Ryan. Um, unfortunately, none of them have his phone number for hiring him for zombie clearing service, you know, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a problem, particularly on Halloween night. Oh, God. Can you imagine if this dude was in this drunken rage with his Z-Max bullets on Halloween night? That just sounds like a nightmare waiting to happen. Man, I hope they get this kid some help or something because uh, that could have been something really, really bad. Um, but I hope you do have a safe and joyful Halloween. Um, that's what it's all about. You know, I, I love uh, giving candy to the kids and I usually do some big Halloween displays, but um, I'm not I'm living in a place right now where I haven't broken out all my Halloween stuff, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this year. However, if you want to see some of my previous Halloween displays, I'm going to include a couple of links in the description box below so you can see uh, what my house usually looks like at Halloween when we're uh, trying to show everyone a good time. So I hope that you find a good time this Halloween season as well. Take care, everyone. I'll catch you on the next show on the Lord and Arch channel. Have a good one. Whoever thought you'd have to fear the zombie hunters more than the actual zombies?